Good evening folks. Now today I was watching a video on YouTube which inspired this video I'm making now. Now the video was about the racism towards black people in the Middle East. Now why it inspired me to make this video it brought back a memory and it also made me think of my dilemma that I have. Now when I will talk about this dilemma I I am not seeking any form of advice because I do acknowledge this is a problem that I have. It's my issue and mine alone and only I have, it's something that I got to deal with and only I can fix. But we'll come to that in a second. So, the, oh yeah, of course, I'm gonna leave the link of this video in the description so you could see for yourself. So, racism towards black people in the Middle East. He, he, he just a brief summary of his video. He's talking about um, the, Arabic media and how they portray black people and uh, overt and so sometimes subtle racism in their media that's un that goes more or less unchallenged. Anyway, so first, first the irony, first the irony. Now we got to go back quite a few years ago. We got to go back to 1991 when I first laid eyes on a Middle Eastern woman who lived locally to me at the time. And I had a bad crush on her. I had a crush on her for years. Wow, I really did. And um, prior to 91, if we go back to the late 70s, early 80s, during that period of time, I was quite, even I was always outgoing and bubbly as I am now, but there was a side of me that was quite shy and insecure. You wouldn't have known it if you'd met me, but it, believe me, it was there. So, but by the time, we got to 1991, I had developed more confidence and I more or less became the man I am that you see today in terms of confidence and outgoing. So as I was back then in 91, as I am now in 2019, I am not afraid to approach any woman anywhere, anytime. And the reason why I wouldn't is down to one, if I've arrived at the conclusion I'm wasting my time, or two, she's given off really shitty vibes, and that's it. And I'm not, I don't give a shit about rejection. Now, it's very important I tell you all this, I'm kind of laying down the foundations for what I'm about to tell you. So, we're back at 1991. Middle Eastern woman, curvaceous body, after the way I like them, thick, dark hair, olive colored skin, and a fancy pants of her. And despite all of my confidence and everything, the reason why I didn't approach her right now we're going to go into my dilemma but i'll come to that in a minute which i the reason why i didn't approach her because i prejudged her i prejudged her i looked at her i thought though i fancied a pants of you because you're middle eastern i equate middle eastern equals hassle hassle with relatives especially the male relatives, how they're, oh, you know, how they're protective over their female relatives. Hassle with them. Hassle with your culture, because to my impression that I've always been given is that they're very unwelcoming, especially towards black people, especially towards black people. Very closed shop. Also, Middle East equals quick-tempered, easily offended people, right? So, regardless whether I got rejected or not, that was not the issue. My, my issue was, can I be asked to go through all the hassle that would come with her? And secondly, because I found her quite beautiful as well, I assumed that she could, and yeah, I, because she had a slight, uh, her mouth was slight, so I assumed that she could be quite bitchy as well, because as most of us guys know, you know, there's, not all, we're not all, not, not with all beautiful women, but there are some beautiful women who are quite arrogant because they they get so much attention, it gets to their head, the power gets to their head, and um, the, the ugly side of them comes out, and it and they don't realise, despite their beauty on the outside, they're just horrible people. They're just horrible. So I, I, there was a part of me that thought, you're beautiful equals possible, high possibility of a horrible person. 
So that kind of stopped me in my tracks. But I wasn't afraid to approach her. It was my prejudice, my prejudice that stopped me from approaching her. And that was the kind of irony watching this video because I thought, wow, you know, um, my preconceived ideas runs with this video, right? Which now that runs into my dilemma because if you ask me, Ron, what is the biggest flaw that you have in your personality? Now we all have flaws, all of us do. It's whether we, we want to admit them or not, admit them or not. My biggest flaw is I prejudge. I have a prejudice problem. Now, please do not confuse prejudice with racism. Two complete different things. I have never been a racist. I never will be a racist. Prejudice, I prejudge. So you, you come in towards me, you, you fit a certain profile. I will have preconceived ideas about your mannerism before you even open your mouth. That's an issue that I have. It's a problem that I have. And I something that I got to deal with. Now, in my defense, why I have a prejudice problem, since I was a little kid, the way I've walked out into the world, I've always walked out with my hand extended in friendship to everybody. So the consequence is any prejudice I have, be it against a certain type of woman, be it a certain type of people, men, people from a certain place, it, it always stems from something they have done first. I don't go around starting wars. I don't go around starting negativity. I don't start it. I'm mean, okay. I may, I may do something to piss somebody off. So in that sense, yeah, in that sense, I would start something in, in that. Let, let me back up. I don't, I don't knowingly, I don't intentionally start a negative. That's what I mean. That's what I mean by that. So if someone is going to be nice to me, I'm not going to be hostile to them. You know, so I've always been nice to people and unfortunately there are some people who's been hostile and unpleasant towards me. And if the same group of people be behave the same way, then the prejudice is going to form and there, there lies the prejudice problem. So if I get, if I'm proven right more than I'm proven wrong, there lies a prejudice problem. So I accept 70% of the blame for having a prejudice problem but I also throw out 30% of the blame of those who planted a seed in the first place. However, there is good news. There is good news. Apart from um, totally discarding a woman because I think it's going to be a waste of time or she's given off bad vibes, apart from that situation, right, I will give everybody a chance to prove themselves. So... You know, um, though I would prejudge you, I will take a step back and think, OK, let's see what you're really about. This is what I think of you. But let's see. Let's see by your actions what the conclusion will be. And you will either commend yourself or you will condemn yourself by your own hand. In regards to, the, to women, the reason why there's a little bit of a different condition with women Obviously, as a man approaching a woman, it's a different kind of scenario. There's certain precautions you've got to take as a man, especially in 2019. And so, um, so therefore, you know, you, you know, the, you got to have your guard up, and the, there's you could you could easily get into uh, a misunderstanding very very easily. So, regards in terms of approaching women, it's a little bit different. However. If I was to be introduced to the woman or she spoke to me first or whatever, right, then she would get her 15 minutes of fame and I'll see what she's about before I arrive to my final conclusion. But unfortunately, I would prejudge her first based on her actions and her expression on her face and maybe her dress sense, whatever. So, unfortunately, that's why I prejudged that Middle Eastern woman because of my preconceived ideas of the impression I have been given and now here lies the dilemma that video has reinforced my prejudice and I know it's wrong I know it's wrong for a number of reasons reason number one I am guilty of doing what other people are doing against 
me and my kind. Because I know right now, right now, someone watching this video would say, okay, you say that um, Arab equals hassle. They will equally say, well, yeah, well, black equals criminal. Black equals violence. Black equals all sorts of stereotypes so I am guilty of doing the same thing that a you could even say someone else had a prejudice problem or some people who are just plain racist would do as well so there is the dilemma but like I said the difference between me and them is I won't I won't completely dis discard you I will I would give you the chance that's the difference but it's still a dilemma and like I said it's my problem it's in something that I have to deal with and there we are so anyway so that's that is the inspiration behind this video because of that video and I thought wow it one it brought back a memory and two it just made me think of the dilemma that I'm in because that video in a kind of way it didn't do me any favors but at the same time I have to remind myself it's equally as bad to to class everybody as guilty. You cannot, I cannot go around seeing someone who's who's Middle Eastern and automatically assuming that they hate my guts. I I, I don't do that, but I have an air of I I do take a step back and I have a, my guard does go up. I think well, okay, until until you sort of show me where you're at you know uh, i'm gonna have my i'm gonna have my shield up you know but there we are i'm i'm at the end of the day, I'm, I'm sure we all have an element of what i'm doing but at least i'm honest and open about it okay so thank you very much and um, thank you for watching my video i don't take your time for for granted and like i said i'm gonna leave the link in the video description and did i say that right i'm gonna leave no, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the video link in the comment section. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay,